Start by unpacking your new Garolite G10 sheet. And I prefer to do this over a soft cloth. Now the sheet is going to have some uh, tooling marks on it, but just get yourself some steel wool and uh, give it some side to side motions and then up and down and then you're gonna go diagonal if you're real picky like I am you'll wanna keep working this till you get those tooling marks off and uh, just do several passes the idea here is to scruff up the surface a little and these fine scratches will help hold the filament down to the build plate using some isopropyl alcohol here and just get yourself another clean cloth that doesn't have any of these stainless steel fibers on it wipe it down one good time then you're going to transfer it over to your machines heated bed and uh, you're gonna get oils on this from your fingers from handling it so we are gonna have to clean it a second time but just align it and you're gonna use some document binders that are half inch wide and I find it best on the Ender 3v2 to clip it close to these protrusions that way the nozzle uh, won't hit any of these clips Then one last time, apply some more isopropyl alcohol and do your final cleaning. Now this Garolite sheet will only work properly with 3D printers that have heated beds. Uh, if the bed is not heated, the material won't activate and grab the filament that you're working with. I have used this with PETG and nylon both of these materials stick really well there's no need for any glues or tape hairspray or any additional chemicals I'm just running here a quick test print with some PETG And if you're printing a real tall part or a very long part that occupies a lot of the build plate and you're having a hard time removing it, the best thing to do is to pull the document binding clips off, take the build plate off the build surface, and just give it a slight flex and the parts will pop right off. This material is thick enough to stay true and straight but also allow just enough flex to be able to remove any parts that don't self-release. Now if you let the part cool completely, it's very, very easy to remove. There's no need for any scrapers and pull these things off just with your fingers and if you have a small part that you can't get a good grip on to pull it free from the build surface all you need to do is use use a little isopropyl alcohol right along the base you just need to make sure that the bed is cool and the capillary action will draw the isopropyl alcohol underneath the part and lift it for you
And that's it. Enjoy your new just hanging Garolite G10 build surface.